So this is a video to show you how to upgrade the RAM in a Acer Aspire 533 netbook. The type of RAM you want to get is this, if I can focus that in. Is that going to focus? Yeah, 204 pin, DDR free, PC free, what is it, speed 10, 10600, 1.35 volts, CL9. The only thing I'd recommend, because I tried some RAM in this before and that didn't work, oh, fuck. hopefully this one will work, is to get the one which is high density with four chips on the front like the original RAM the one I had before had sort of eight chips and that did not work so let's get started first thing to do is zoom this in a bit first thing to do is remove the battery Discharge any power, press the power button. Uh, let's put this on a bit of paint to protect it. Um, then you will open it up. First thing is to take the keyboard off. Now, this can be a little, a little tricky. If you look here between the insert and the delete key, there's a little tab. Push that in. I can't really so if I can zoom in on that. Take this camera off. See, there's a little tab there you want to push in and then get the key keyboard under it and just lift it up and then keep it there and get a plastic knife and run it all the way across Let's see if that'll stay in there so if you can get the ah oh, fucker a little bit tricky this is. Get it in there, lift it up and get the knife underneath and then just run it across and that should lift up the tabs. There's a couple more tabs here and here. And then once you've got that lifted up, you can remove the ribbon cable here if you want to, I don't bother there. And there's six screws you've got to remove. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's get on and remove these. Always handy to have a little, little place to put them. Where's that other screwdriver gone? This one's magnetic. Some of these screws, they don't come out. You have to unscrew them and pull them out with a 
magnetic one of mine anyway. Right, then put the keyboard down. Actually, I forgot. That's something you got to pop first. Just there. There's a little diagram there and a number two. You simply poke that through. Poke it through there and then press. That gets the back cover off. And you flip this around. And this is quite easy to do. Just pull that off. And that's where the RAM goes. I did upgrade the hard drive the other day, which reminds me, I didn't put a screw back. Oh, they all look the same, these screws. So let's pop that back in there while we're at it. Put a SATA hard drive in there. Not a SATA, an SSD. So to remove the RAM, let's zoom in on this a bit. So to remove the RAM you just pull down that tab there, and this one there, and that'll pop out, and then just pull it out. And you can see this one, it's got four chips on the front, four on the back. Don't touch the chips with your fingers. Small possibility you could damage them. Now this one, it's got four on the front and yeah, four on the back, that's what you want. Now you just locate that groove. There's a groove, a slot there where it slots in. Push it in diagonally. And then push it down. And it clicks in. Now, the thing to do is test it. So let's put this battery back on. Zoom that out a bit. See if it works. If it works, it should boot. If it doesn't work, you won't. It won't get past the post power on self test. So, yep, and it works. Hmm. I have to let this boot. It doesn't actually boot that much quicker with an SSD in it. I think it's limited by the CPU. But it's as quick as it can be. Shut that down. And then just put everything back and you're good to go.